What's up everybody? It's 11.48 at night and we're driving a newer, uh, I think this is a, one of the newer 2014 River uh, Econoline vans. Uh, we're heading over to the Boeing ramp where the uh, Antonov 124 big Russian jet is going to be coming in. So uh, this is the, just the beginning of the uh, vlog. So uh, I will hit you guys back whenever we get on the other side. All right, that truck right there is our escort. He's going to take us across the way, so I'll stay with you guys for a little bit here as we get ready to go out this way and cross over. We're going to be crossing the uh, runway, which is uh, three zero left, one two right. Uh, so we're going to go out Juliet for this. I turn on my what you call hazards, but nah, no need for that. No need for that. Let's just get back to what we were doing here show you the drive over to the runway so yeah he's the lead car or the truck obviously that um shut the fuck up I'm about to here i'll put a seatbelt on just so this thing shuts up in case we get hit by a plane we wouldn't the seatbelt wouldn't help us that's for damn sure so yeah we're on juliet right now there's a windsock over there we're on juliet right now you'll see the the lettering here for one two right three to the left and we're gonna cross over the runway because we're heading over by Boeing. So as you can see, one, two, right, three, zero, left. And no planes are coming either way. So that's always a good thing, trust me. Trust me, my friend, that is great. But yeah, this is like the beginning of runway three, zero, left. And then all the way to the left here, all the way down that way, there's the runway. So we're crossing the runway right now. See, there's the center stripe. There's the lights. Ooh, so pretty. You know, they don't have those lights on over there, the center stripe lights, that's weird. But whatever, what are you gonna do? What you gonna do? There's the uh, uh, the Pappy light system, those red lights. And they're on a three degree slope upward. So as you get to a certain altitude, they uh, two of them start to turn white and that'll tell people that they're on the glide slope. That's what that means, if you're wondering very quick little aviation thing so we're on Juliet now this is a uh, taxiway echo we're coming up on and echo runs kind of down the center of both of the uh, runways it's, kinda, it's a high-speed taxiway too so they can go, go a little you can go a little bit faster on them and here's a high-speed turnoff there with the green lights I don't know if you can see those uh, kind of there no I don't think you can see them but that's the high, one of the high-speed turnoffs for the uh, or whenever they land on one two left but now we're coming up on 30 right one two left and that's the next one we cross over as you can see very cool very cool but yeah I'm excited to show you guys this uh, this airplane because um, it's the second largest airplane in the world the uh, Antonov 225 Mariah that is the, the world's largest airplane in the world. But the 124 is its little sister. Okay, here we go. This is runway 30 right, 30 right, one, two left. As you can see, as we cross over it, yay. And we're heading over here by where Signature is. We'll have to give a shout out to Ryan, my buddy Ryan. Um, Aviator 141, or is that, I think it's his name. On, I don't know, I forget what it is on YouTube for sure. But he works out, well, yeah. He works over here for those guys at Air Choice One. Shout out to them. They're a small little uh, airline outfit that uh, operates Cessna 208Bs, and which is the caravan, and they uh, I think they operate a, what else? A twin, but I don't remember what it was called. Do you remember what it was called? So here you go, here we are pretty much on the other side of that airport, which you never really get to see. Uh, so there's the terminal way over there. So it's kind of cool because you can see the, all the lights from all the way from there, which is the uh, Terminal 2, where Southwest is, all the way down to the A gates at the other side. Isn't that crazy? I think it's a little crazy. Signature. 
So this is Signature Flight Services over here. Got a couple citations. You got a Citation 2 there. You got a Pilatus PC-12. Uh, two Challengers. I think one of them, I think this is the Peevely. Or no, yeah. Not Peevely, but, uh, oh, what are they? Peabody Coal Company. It's their airplanes. That's who, that's who owns those challenges, or, or at least one of them I know. I'm not sure about the other one, but you see some airplanes over there. These guys are going really slow in front of me. Oh, Lord, let's just kind of pick up the pace a bit. Oh, yeah, well, we're getting we're being led by the tug, and the tug isn't very fast, that's for damn sure. But what's cool for, um, there's some, oh, the Quonset hut things down there are kind of open, as you can see, the little archways down there. And that building right there, I don't know if you see my finger right there with the blue lights like right there. That is the Boeing building. That's where uh, the F-18E, -A -F -A -E, the Super Hornet, is built. So that's another fun fact. Uh, another cool thing is this is a uh, taxiway kilo we're coming up on. And I used to work right there at that building over there. So I used to be on the north side of the airport, which is called the Haith Ramp. And that building behind it, uh, that lettering there, I don't know if you can read it, but it says... Boeing. That's Boeing's headquarters. That's their uh, one of their headquarter buildings there. Not the actual headquarters. Headquarters in Seattle, Washington, obviously. So as we continue down taxiway Kilo, or no, that's Kilo, but we're on we're on Foxtrot right now. And Foxtrot, which we're on right now, actually used to be a runway. That's why it's so wide. Uh, it was the runway that was used by the F-15s. It was runway three one and one three back in the day um back, uh probably in the 80s late 80s whenever they we were there you know the f-15s you can use it all the time when we had that wing uh that squadron but we don't have them anymore they're they're gone unfortunately so now we're starting to get closer down here where we're supposed to be going so that's really cool um yeah Basically following these guys. I'll tell you what, it, it, when the Russian uh, plane comes in, we're just kind of, uh, we're kind of babysitting the plane and all that. I will be operating the forklift uh, and moving some things around. So that will be fun. Yeah, we're headed over here. Now what's really cool, I wish you could see it with the lights. I don't think you can see it. it did, but there's like a hump right there. It kind of looks like a, uh, I don't know, like a big dirt mound. When we get closer to it, you'll see it. One of my biggest pet peeves is whenever uh, we went, went in training for driving on ramp and stuff, you always drive in the center of the taxiway. You don't drive on the sides. I don't know why they're doing that. But yeah, that right there kind of goes up at a shape. It's a firehouse that's built into the side of a hill. So it's pretty cool. That's Saberliner ramp. And these are the big uh, hangars up here where the F-18s park. I'm um, trying to think of where they're gonna, where, where we're gonna go. I think we're gonna go up here by Saberliner. Could be uh, somewhere else. I think they're gonna park. This is uh, Taxiway Foxtrot Six, and I think this is where they're gonna do it at. So there's your ELS. So you can see that. Pretty cool on a new Chevy Silverado. There he goes. No more escort needed. But yeah, right in front of us there. Let me turn on the brights so you can see. Nah, you can barely see it, but that's the uh, firehouse there, built into the side.
Alrighty guys, it's 1.25 in the morning, and it's the Antonov 1.24 right there, you can barely see it, unless in post I can brighten it up, which I will try to do, uh, I can't see it so well, but um, we're just informed, I'm going to be taking these guys over to the hotel, um, and there's the back of the plane, you, I don't think you can see any of that in the back there, but yeah, I'm going to be taking these guys to the hotel, and then we're going to get something to eat. Alrighty. Just got done dropping off all these Russian fellas here at their hotel, which is a Holiday Inn. Uh, 154, not bad on time. Uh, I think I'm gonna go go get something to eat for sure, and then we're supposed to do this at 9 a.m. So I'll do my normal uh, my normal stuff with the uh, normal airplane uh, at its usual time around 6 a.m. So. Uh, maybe I'll shoot that too. I know you guys have been wanting to see a lot more work vlog stuff, so that's what I'm doing. Showing you what I'm doing here at work, so not bad just being a shuttle driver right now. Hey guys, it's about uh, 9 o'clock in the morning. Got up after, got a little bit of sleep, so that's good. But uh, we're going to head over to the Russian plane, wait on our escort to get us across the runways. And then uh, we're going to head over there, so... Should be fun. Shake either, so <laughs> it's gonna happen. Runway 297 Tower, runway 29, line up and wait. It's the runway. On the runway. As you can see, bouncy, bouncy. those uh, that's the ramp system that goes in front of the uh, in the Antona 124 the nose so I'll show that to you later Sorry, I know it's bumpy. Not much I can do about that. It's either this or nothing. There's the Chavez 403, turn left, Kilo, hold short of 30 left for me. Short 30 left with you, Chavez 403. And to the right of it. Up there from the back. And now you can see the Boeing building. Okay, let's stop. Here 16, turn right direct Quincy, runway 3 is left, clear to take Alrighty guys, here is the Antonov 124. To show it to you up close. It's a very interesting airplane. Now this nose will come down. It becomes the ramp, the front ramp system. As you can see, it has two landing gear and the nose. Two steering, steering landing gear. I know it's a little ridiculous. Uh, stage three, which is just uh, RJ landing there. Look at the uh, contours and lines on this thing. It's like really sharp and edged. There. There's the uh, pheno tubes up there. The wing root all the way over to the engine. 
Now, the, the, what's really cool is the, uh, it's not just the engines, but the, the wing design on this airplane is crazy. As you can see, how far down it droops. From there, all the way up to the wing roof. Another thing that's really cool about this airplane is it's Russian. Yes, it is Russian. Here's the uh, lane, landing light, little housing there. But here you go. Look at the landing gear system on this thing. We're talking lots and lots and lots of landing gear. Uh, there's the shock systems back here. It's inside there a little bit. There's the landing gear bay. Again, I tell you, it's all in Russian. See? I don't know what that means. Here's the uh, reception for the... Uh, uh, and there's our GPU system there. Pretty cool. Wanted to show it to you guys. I'll show you the other side and everything else here in a minute. Got some stuff to do first, but uh, that's the first look at the Donut 124. All right, guys, so this here are the cans of all the pieces that we're gonna use to build the, uh, the ramp system that goes to the nose of the airplane. So my job is to just basically, we're gonna be taking out all this stuff with the forklift that drove over here, that little guy over there, pull it all out and get it all out here on the front of the nose of the ramp area so we can, um, uh, so we can build the ramp for the nose. And I will be recording whenever they open the nose up so you get to see that. That's, that's gonna be pretty cool in itself, but. All right, let's get started. And he's continuing the tour from the right side. Here's Mike. <laughs> it's Russian, all in Russian. I don't know what that says. Chop out in the zone. I don't know what that means, but continuing on, here's the uh, the right, left, left wing on the airplane. You can see it windmilling. A little windy out. The tail number is Uniform Romeo 82027. You can see it in the All over here. Here's the other main gear. There you can see, lots of them. Good. 10 wheels on each side. This thing is interesting. This is where the APU exhaust is on these. Right there. Pretty crazy. Here's the rear area, cargo area. The tail section. Never mind the southwest landing over there. So that's the tail section here. Control surfaces are drooping down because they don't have hydraulic pressure to them right now, of course. But as you can see around here, here's the nose. Or I mean the nose, the tail. And this whole back end opens up too. So there you have it. A little windy. A little windy out here, but that's the uh that is the Antono 124. So guys enjoyed the quick tour and I gotta go over here and start working so catch up with you in a bit opening the nose here
airport fire trucks. Like I said, we build them here. side hmm. Alrighty guys, it's 11:48 in the afternoon and I have finished building that entire ramp. That's what I was doing with the forklift. And we had some extra pieces that were for like the fillers and all that good stuff. But um, yeah, that's the that's the ramp we just completely built. So that tractor trailer there is going to back in all the way up there. It's a uh, flight simulator. Um, there's two of them going in here, two tractor trailers like that. Uh, and the net worth of this entire uh, this entire lot is going to be 22 million dollars. So pretty penny being spent here today. Uh, loading onto this in front of 124 it's a 100 series so it's a little shorter guy but uh, that's all, all that wood there I just put up there is for uh, shoring shoring kind of distributes the uh, uh, distributes the the load like the the weight makes it a lot easier on everything uh, and and I was told that 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 one right there is uh, weighs 60,000 pounds so that's pretty heavy So we hear shouting, which we'll hear. We go, no, 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 no. <laughs> that one concerned already. One concerned is they back the trailer up the ramp. Sixty thousand pounds. You think they would have like? Uh, that up beforehand. <laughs> Got one yelling. Zooming on him, yelling at him, tells you what to do. It's a spot of concern. Alright, they're gonna have to drop the air bags. Try to fit it on board here. Talk about Euro Truck Simulator. That's what we need to have, backing up ramps into Antonov's. The Antonov 124 or 225. Well, this guy's got it. Look at this face of confidence. Look at this face of confidence right there. He knows. He's like, I got this. Not bad at all. He doesn't have a whole hell of a lot of room back there, but he is wheeling it. He is wheeling that thing. Oh yeah.
going to have another one here. Sorry for the shakiness. Camera suit. About to touch down. Came down. Give him power, give him power. Back up. Stop landing this time. Oh, he's folding the wings up. Job well done.